Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Grace and Hope Consulting Podcast. We're happy to have you here. If you're new to us on this podcast, we talk about a lot of things, but all, all of it comes back to resilience. So this year we decided to just claim it and proclaim it and declare that this is a year of resilience. And um, that's what we're talking about all year long. I'll be interviewing some new and old friends and discuss resilience, how they are finding resilience, what's helping them, what they learn along the way, and uh, what advice they might have for you as well as you face your own adversities in your life. So today I have Dr. Leanne with me. You want to just chime in and share who you are, what you do, and where you're joining us from? Sure. So um, my name is Dr. Leanne Salazar Montoya. I'm a native New Mexican, and I'm currently a college professor at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas in educational leadership. So today I'm reaching out to all of you from Las Vegas, Nevada. Very exciting and excited to be here with you. I've been uh, collaborating um, with you all, and it's really exciting to have collaborated on this particular project. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for all that you do and it's been a pleasure to work with you and then this i lost count i can't remember which one number if you want book this is what that you've been part of with us at Grissom consulting um oh boy i think yeah. we're on five or six <laughs> five or six yeah so for those of you who are new who don't know Grissom consulting also publishes book and so the, dr leanne is also part of this new book that's coming out be resilient um stories strategies and tools to help you rise above your circumstances so when you hear the word resilience what comes to mind i really think it's about um it takes me back to i always think about a phoenix rising from the ashes and having the ability to face adversity and still overcome so i think in life many times um, we're faced with adversities or troubles and when we have the ability to kind of pivot and deal with those troubles and still survive mm -hmm. the survival mode and the ability to just power through is really all about resiliency and to be able to move forward and be positive and to be productive as you make those next steps yeah love it love it i mean you nailed it and i like you know i like just the analogy of you know being a phoenix and rising I, and because and, and when life hits a lot, sometimes it hits really hard. Most of us, what we want to do is just sit there. And there's times for that, right? There's times where we just need to allow ourselves to sit there, process what's going on, what's happening, you know, kind of evaluate what resources we have in order to address this and then move forward, right? But don't sit there for too long. You have to rise <laughs> and rise and move forward, you know, rise up and move forward. So thank you for, you know, touching on that. And when it comes to your own life, I know you're a very accomplished professional woman and you do a lot of work in the education field and you're such a you're a leader. And people might think, oh, she has it all figured out. You know, it's Professor Leon Nomontaya. She has it, she's all good. But people might not know all the things that you had overcome, you know, and how that been kind of been the catalyst, if you want, for a lot of the things that you do today. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, you have to go through the storm and endure the rain mm. to see the rainbow. Um, and definitely a rainbow doesn't happen once, nor does the storm happen once. I have had plenty of storms and rainstorms and things along the way uh, growing up as a child uh, facing homelessness and, you know, the grief that I've endured. And even in my professional career, as I worked my way to my doctoral program, I continued to face, you know, adversity. Um, as I always tell many women that I work with and I train, there hasn't always been a seat at the table for women in leadership. And many times parts of my adversity and things that I've had to power through have been having to bring my own chair to the table and to really, you know, endure and challenge my own resiliency so that I still am sitting at the table and that I have a chair because I brought my own chair to the table. And so, yeah, my success hasn't come easily. And even today I continue to face adversity that challenges my resiliency, but I'm here today and I work every day with aspiring leaders mm -hmm. and I hope that my stories um, inspire others. Yeah, yeah, and I know it will. I know it will. I mean, just reading it, I have known you for, you know, I guess a couple of years now, I'm just doing all, the, you know, these books with you, but just reading that again, it's like, wow, you know, 
speaking of being a phoenix right <laughs> so thank you thank you for sharing that and even you you touch on something that i think often people don't realize is although you are resilient um you are still facing challenges that like you say that challenges if you want you know but that's kind of redundant there but you face difficulties adversity that still challenges the resiliency that you have so it's not you know resilience is not like a um a, a destination but like i got it i check the box and i'm good i'm resilient for life right it's it, it it doesn't look that way it's like we go for life we you know we learn you know to rise above it we get you no know, skills and tools to to address the next challenge right and then when the next challenge comes we're like okay i've done x y and z i overcame x y and z now i can do it again right and and it's so it's never easy and it's never done it's kind of this continuum i see resilience as this ongoing process this ongoing journey absolutely so what maybe some words of encouragement or words you know some advice that you would give other women um in leadership who are you know finding themselves you know facing you know different you know, many challenges just because of being one a woman and you know two being in leadership you know minority like double minority right and for many of us we're also you know uh, we're also women of color so then it adds up you know a third you know, a third uh challenge there and trying to trying to find a place like you say and and i'm so i agree with you about bring your own seat to the table that's actually the uh, one of the the title of one of the, my chapters in we all belong book it's because sometimes those the seat your seat is not there's not a seat for you yet until you bring your own because you you realize that the what's being shared at that table is important and that you are a change agent so you show up not because you're sometimes not because you're invited but because you invite yourself because you want to be that change agent so any other words you know, of encouragement, you know, advice that you want to share with other women in leadership? Absolutely. I just think the, the major you know, things to think about is that you have to always be your authentic self. Mm -hmm. um, so as you present yourself for interviews and you're moving forward, you have to be your authentic self. You can't be afraid to color outside the lines. Mm -hmm. um, always stay true to your principles, whatever your core principles are, you need to remain true to them. And, um, and I have one more usually, uh, <laughs> color outside lines, be authentic. And um, I don't know, it escaped me. It's all good. But it definitely, you know, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, because I, I think, you know, I, I think for many people, not just women, um, we often live in this in a society that anything different you no know, becomes scary and it shouldn't be scary but it's perceived as scary so then when even we are trying to take those you no know, bold actions and you know and show up and you know make it different it's like oh this looks different I want to stay within the lines right I want to conform to what you know how everyone has done it but guess what if we all conform to status quo nothing ever changes nothing. I, and so, yeah, so sometimes that, like you said, you know, being yourself, bringing all yourself to the table, all the parts of you, you know, that make who you, who you are and not being able to, not being afraid to use, you know, all of that, putting all of that to good use in order to bring about change in whichever leadership circle you find yourself in. Absolutely. And, you know, for many women, I always remind them that, you know, many of us have other responsibilities. Um, in my dissertation, I talked about a more Hispanic kind of reference known as Marianismo, mm -hmm. which is um, those maternal roles that we play mm -hmm. um, as mother, as caretaker, and things of that nature. But we have become masters at being able to balance home and work life. And so it's possible. So always trying to be that beam of light to remind people. Mm -hmm that it is possible to be a professional and to be a mother and to maintain those responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's definitely, you know, it, it's definitely um, a game of balance, right? And we, as you engage in any journey, it's like you learn new things and you tweak along the way and you continue to find that balance, you know, in everything so that you can thrive and continue to be, um, a blessing to everyone that you know every table that you sit at yeah whether it's at home right. or in business at work in anywhere yeah thank you so much for sharing your wisdom here but also just thank you for what you do and how you represent you know women in leadership 
uh, anywhere and everywhere. And so for people who are new to you, how can they keep in touch, not uh, stay in touch with you? I'm sure I'm just working on trying to get a new website up. So I will make sure that we get that up um, on your social media. Otherwise, my Twitter tag is E and Toya, so it's double E A N N Toya. Um, you can find me, Dr. Leanne Salazar Montoya, on LinkedIn. And again, I'm working on a web page, so I will update you all as I get that up and going. And look out for my research. I'll be doing some educational professional research on um, the administrative positions um, through UNLV at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, coming up nice oh that congrats congrats just for the opportunity and yeah i can't wait definitely you know send us send it my way when it's ready i would love love to read and learn from you yeah absolutely and i love collaborating with you and i look forward to collaborating with you on other projects i'm currently trying to in the background get a children's book together so you can help me out with that moving oh, forward as definitely, well <laughs> definitely we just released one right before christmas here um it's not even a month ago so we'll We'll love, love, love to add you to a list for this year, for sure. Awesome. All righty. Well, you take good care. Again, thanks for everything. And for everyone listening or watching this, Be Resilient is going to be out on the 30th of January. And it's available on Amazon or from any of the authors. And again, this book is about stories, strategies, and tools to help you rise above your circumstances. Be well. <laughs>